Excuse me if I'm a little like exhausted right now. I was up till like four in the morning researching weird music genres and writing an essay on immortality. So we're just gonna move on. Hello lovely people, my name's Nicole and today it is another Top 5 Wednesday. This week's theme is books that we read in one sitting. Um, I read books in one sitting a lot, so I tried to sort of narrow things down, so let's get started. The first one that I have isn't really a book, it's a graphic novel, which I know, like, those are usually often read in one sitting, but this one's kind of a longer one. It's Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. I absolutely love this. It is so funny, so cute. I love the art style. Um, it's just, it's wonderful, and it's this awesome, like, fantasy, humor, amazingness. Um, but yes, I read this during the bout of books this year and oh my god. So much fun. It's the kind of thing that like even if you do put it down, you don't want to if that makes sense. I don't know. Okay. Next book I have is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. I remember starting this just because I wasn't feeling good and I needed something to cheer me up and it was like midnight um, and I, it was one of the things I expected to read a little bit of it and then go to sleep and I ended up just not putting it down until I finished it at like 3 o'clock in the morning. I do that a lot. Um, but yes, I absolutely loved this. It was so cute. And it, it basically did exactly what I needed. It totally cheered me up and it was amazing and perfect and I highly recommend it. The next book I have is Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider. Um, I brought this with me when I went camping. And anyone who knows me knows that I am not the kind of person who typically enjoys camping type things. I am very much an a stay inside forever and like never experience dirt or sun cuz burn and no that's not that's not a thing i enjoy so i basically just kind of hid inside my tent and read this for all day um so it saved me from the terror of the outdoors so thank you, Robin Schneider. But yes, I loved this. I just spent the day inside my camp, inside my tent crying because of this. The next book that I have is one that I have read in single sittings multiple times, actually. And it's only been out for a few months. And that is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Um, in case you guys aren't sick of me talking about this book yet, I absolutely love this book. The first time I read it, it was, um, again, like, midnight. I just kind of expected to read a chapter or two and then go to sleep. And I just forgot that the rest of the world existed. And forgot that sleep was a thing that existed. And just read it all the way through. Could, couldn't stop just, like, smiling and falling in love with all the characters. And since then, I have read it two or three more times, all in single sittings. It's just, it's such a fantastic book, and it's a really fast read, and I recommend it to literally everyone. And the final book that I have that I read in one sitting is one that I am seriously impressed with myself for reading in one sitting. Um... City of Heavenly Fire. This book is huge. It's gigantic. Um, the only reason I was able to read it in one sitting is because it was summer, so I didn't have anything else going on, and, you know, I'd been anticipating it for so damn long, and it, it finally, finally came out, and I literally did not even wait for my, I couldn't even wait for my pre-order get, to get here because I pre-ordered it from Barnes & Noble, so it was like, shipped on the day of release, didn't arrive on the day of release, so I, yeah, I didn't wait for my pre-order to get here, I could not 
stand to wait that long. I went to the bookstore the day of release, bought a copy, bought another copy, um, to read and love, cause priorities, and oh my god, I read just all day, did not put it down once. It was amazing and probably an experience that I will never ever ever be able to replicate with another book series just because oh my god that's that's like a lot of reading to do in one sitting don't know how I functioned I don't know how I ate or if I ever slept just just read just read just books so those are all the books that I read in one sitting. Well, those are not all the books I read in one sitting. Those are the top five books that I read in one sitting. I have a, a lot of books that I read in one sitting. I read books in one sitting a lot. Um, but yeah, those are my top five books that I read in one sitting. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them or what uh, your favorite books that you've read in one sitting are. I love you and I will see you later. Bye.